Today I'm going to show you guys how to tie up one of my very first confidence patterns, the shot vac. I'm going to be using a Firehole 520 in a size 18. You can make these in a 16, 20, I tend to like the smaller sizes. I'm going to pair this with a 2.5 millimeter slotted tungsten bead in matte black. For my thread, I'm using beige Semperfly Classic Thread in 12 lot. Start with a jam knot on here to get the thread started, and then trim off the tag end. Continue making wraps about halfway down the hook bend. Now for our rib, I'm going to use 0.2 millimeter copper wire from Semperfly. That's about the similar size as small in UTC. I'm going to capture that at the bend of the hook and then wrap forward to get it completely captured. And then I'm going to wrap back just a little bit to give myself room to tie in the pheasant tail feathers. I'm going to grab about four strands off this feather, pluck them off. I'm going to secure these in at the tip end of the fibers, pull it to length, and then once I got the strands sorted out, I'm going to wrap it down to the copper wire. Okay, now loose wraps back forward. I'm going to sort of sloppily lock in those tips, and you'll see why in a minute. Put my bobbin on the cradle. I'm going to use the rotary function to make touching wraps with these fibers all the way up to the bead. Take your time here to get these to lay flat so you get a nice smooth body. And then I'm going to lock this in, three wraps behind and then three wraps in front. Clip those off. Stick the bobbin back in the cradle just to give myself room to wrap the ribbing all the way forward. And again, take your time here so you can get nice, evenly spaced ribs. Now we're going to lock this in by doing three wraps behind again and then three wraps on top. And you can spin it off. For the emerging wing, we're going to use Predator fibers from Semperfly and White. And I'm going to carefully pinch off a little bit of material. Uh, you got to be careful not to do too much. This is going to be doubled over, so whatever you get is going to be twice that amount. And then once you clip it off, I like to cord it up just a little bit so it holds all the fibers together and you have less waste. And with about a half inch going beyond the bead, go ahead and take one loose wrap pull down really tight and then take another wrap to lock that in and now we're going to carefully build up a collar. Uh, you want to do this slowly enough that you can figure out the point when the fibers stay pointing backwards. There it wasn't quite down all the way so I'm going to add a few more wraps right against the fibers there and you'll see now it's holding back. Now I'm going to do a six turn whip finish to lock it in. Tighten it down and clip it off your thread. Now we're going to stroke all these fibers back and we're going to clip it off about, oh, 30, 40% of the way down the body. Get a nice, clean, even cut and there's your wing. Add a drop of head cement and that thing's not going anywhere. This is a great fly. It works for me all the time, winter and summer. I just love it. This fly always produces a lot of fish for me, so go spin up a bunch and get some yourself. Now for the giveaway. If you want to enter to win these, all you got to do is leave a comment and be subscribed to the channel. When I do my next tying video, I'll announce the winners randomly. And as such, we need to announce the winner from the last tying video for the green dredgers. So let's roll that giveaway and see who's going to be the winner. All right, congratulations, Adventuring with MK. You're the lucky winner of the six green dredgers. I'm going to get those out to you as soon as we connect. If you guys haven't yet, check out her channel. She's a young creator creating fishing content, and I know she's going to be big if she keeps up with it. Until the next time video, everybody, Godspeed.